Hello, today's story is your traditional nursery rhymes but with a twist. And it is called Dear Mother Goose. Let's get the right page, shall we? Humpty Dumpty, Incy Wincy, Mary Mary, Jack and Jill do what they do again and again, and so it seems they always will. But then one day Humpty said, I don't like what I always do. I sit on a wall and I fall off. I really must do something new. He said to himself, I'll write a letter to Old Mother Goose to help me do better. And when she wrote back, what she said was so true. So all of Humpty's friends wrote letters too. Look, what a pile of letters she's got. She's there with her computer and a cup of tea. Tea in the background. Biscuits. Dear Mother Goose, I keep falling off walls. What should I do? And it says PTO, which means lift and lift the flap. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So this is Mother Goose's reply. Humpty Dumpty, perhaps you shouldn't be sitting on walls. Try an egg cup. Ta-da! He's looking very happy. Oops, it's a bit stuck. Dear Mother Goose, every time I sit down to eat... My curds and whey, a spider comes along to frighten me. Little Miss Muffet sat in her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet's away. Dear Miss Muffet, said Mother Goose, when you eat your curds and whey, why do you sit on a tuffet? Big mistake. Spiders love tuffets. The best place to eat your curds of whey in the bath. Spiders don't like water. Hey, look, there she is, really happy eating her curds and whey. Dear Mother Goose, my sister Jill and I go up the hill to fetch water, but we keep falling down. What can we do? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Dear Jack, said Mother Goose, when you and Jill come down the hill, you could get a bus. And that would be safer. There's the pail of water, Jack, Jill and the bus driver. Even the sun is happy. Next bit. Oh, I love this one. Dear Mother Goose, there are some very dangerous blackbirds in the garden. When I hang out the clothes and the king has his pie, they came out and attack me from the maid. Four and twenty blackbirds pegged in a pie. I said that wrong. Sorry, I'll start again. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in the pie. When the pie was open, birds began to sing. And wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlour, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging at the clothes. When down came a blackbird and pecked off her nose. Mother Goose says, try wearing a crash helmet. Look, they can't get in. Ha! Right, last one. Dear Mother Goose, I can't find my dog a bone. Can you help me, Mother Hubbard? Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. When she got there, the cupboards were bare, so the poor dog had none. Oh, look at the dog, he's so sad. Mother Goose says, Let me try looking in the fridge. Get all that food. So 
So, Humpty Dumpty and Sissy Wincy, Mary Mary, Jack and Jill sent their letters to Mother Goose and she sent them back. When they saw what she had written, it cheered them up no end. Dear Mother Goose, said everyone, is really our best friend. Let's all go and visit her and knock upon her door. Let's say we were often sad and now we're sad no more. So off she went to where they lived and stood outside the house. To see what Mother Goose then saw, open this door wide. Yay! Thank you, Mother Goose. I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye.